What is FDIC insurance? The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation or FDIC is one of the two agencies that provide deposit insurance to depositors in U.S. depository institutions. The other one being the National Credit Union Administration or NCUA, which regulates and insures credit unions. The FDIC is a United States government corporation providing deposit insurance to depositors in U.S. commercial banks and savings banks. The FDIC was created uh, by the 1933rd Banking Act enacted during the Great Depression to restore trust in the American banking system. More than one-third of banks failed in the years before the FDIC's creation, and bank runs were common. The insurance limit was, initi was initially $2,500 per ownership category, and this uh, was increased several times over the years. Since the passage of the Dodd-Frank Wall Street uh, Reform and Consumer Protection Act in 2011, the FDIC insures deposits in member banks up to $250,000 US dollars per ownership category. The FDIC and its reserves are not funded by public funds. Members bank's insurance dues are the FDIC's primary source of funding. Furthermore, the FDIC also has a 100 billion US dollars line of credit with the United States Department of Treasury. So far, the FDIC has provided deposit insurance at 5,256 institutions. Moreover, the FDIC also examines and supervises certain financial institutions for safety and soundness, performs certain consumer protection functions, and manages uh, receiverships of failed banks. So what does the FDIC cover, you may ask? Well, let's see. The FDIC insurance covers several types of deposits received either at an insured bank or an insured institution, including deposits in a checking account, negotiable order of withdrawal or now account, savings account, a money market deposit account or MMDA, time deposits such as a certificate of deposit or CD, or an official item issued by a bank such as a cashier's check or money order. FDIC insurance also covers depositors account at each insured bank, dollar for dollar, including principal and any accrued interest through the date of their um, insured bank's closing, up to uh, the insurance limit. The FDIC, however, does not insure money invested in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, life insurance policies, annuities on municipal uh, securities, even if these investments are purchased at an insured bank. The spectrum typically encompasses the following. However, for more information or other specific deposit insurance guidelines, we recommend that you visit the website fdic.gov or that you contact them directly using their hotline. At the moment, the hotline number is 1-877-ASK-FDIC or 1-877-275-3342. A single account. 
A deposit account owned by one person without named beneficiaries has a coverage limit of 250,000 US dollars per owner. Certain retirement account. A retirement account in which uh, plan participants have the right to direct how the money is invested has a coverage limit of $250,000 per owner. A joint account. A deposit account owned by two or more people without named beneficiaries has a coverage limit of $250,000 per co-owner. A removable trust account. A deposit account owned by one or more people that identifies one or more ben beneficiaries who will receive the deposits upon the death of the owners. This includes both formal living trust and informal ITF slash POD accounts having the following coverage limit. Owner insured uh, $250,000 for each unique beneficiary designated. An irrevocable trust account. A deposit account held in connection with an irrevocable trust established by statute or a written trust agreement has the following coverage limit. $250,000 for the trust. More coverage available if requirements are met. An employee benefit plan account. A deposit of a pension plan, defined benefit plan, or other employee benefit plan that is not self-directed has the following coverage limit. $250,000 for the no contingent interest of each plan participant. A corporation, partnership, or unincorporated association account. Deposits owned by corporations, partnerships, and un unincorporated associations, including for-profit and not-for-profit organizations, has the following coverage limit, $250,000 per corporation, partnership, or unincorporated association. A government account. A government account typically has the coverage limit of 250,000 US dollars per official custodian. What does the FDIC doesn't cover you may ask? Well, let's see. The FDIC does not insure non-deposit investment products as stated earlier, even if they were purchased from an insured bank including annuities, mutual funds, stocks, bonds, government securities, municipal securities, U.S. Treasury securities. These products may be offered to you in the financial institution's lobby, through the mail, over the phone, or through the internet. Most often, um, the people selling these products are not financial institution employees, but employees of third-party securities, brokers, or dealers, or insurance companies. When you meet or talk with a sales representative about non-deposit investment products, you should be informed that, number one, this product is not insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Number two, this product is not a deposit or other obligation of or guaranteed by the bank. Number three, this product is subject to investment risks, including possible loss of the principal amount invested. Sales representatives must make these disclosures to you orally and or in writing whenever they make a presentation. 
provide investment advice concerning a non-deposit investment product or open an investment account for you. Any advertisements or other promotional materials you receive also must disclose that the product is not a deposit, is not uh, insured by the FDIC and is subject to investment risks. Remember, it's important to remember that there are generally higher risks associated with non-deposit investment products than with the traditional deposit products, such as savings and interest-bearing checking accounts. Non-deposit investment products are not FDIC insured, so you could lose some of uh, the money you invested or not gain as much profit as you expected. The value of your non-deposit investments can go up or down depending on the demand for them in the market. The Securities Investors Protection Corporation or SIPC, a non-government entity, replaces missing stocks and other securities in customer accounts held by its member up to 500,000 US dollars, including up to 250,000 US dollars in cash. If a member brokerage or bank brokerage subsidiary fails. Okay, so now you may wonder, well, who do I talk to if an issue was to arise or if you had a complaint? In case you have a problem or a concern with a deposit or investment, you're encouraged to try to resolve your complaint directly with an officer of the bank or the firm before involving an outside agency. Most financial institutions value the customer greatly and will gladly provide you assistance with this type of issue and more. If you are unable to resolve the matter with the financial institution, you can always search for other alternatives to better determine where to direct your complaint. If your complaint is against a salesperson who represents a third-party investment firm, feel free to contact the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority for instructions on where to write. The end. Thank you.